The arrival of Mistra was a great breath of fresh air in South Africa. South Africa was entering a very critical time in its history, the time of change. Here was an institute, an agency, a think tank that was like no other that we had seen before. We saw the importance of a think tank and research organization that would increase the evidence-based discourse and debate in the country. It was actually answering a lot of questions that this country was facing. Misra is certainly independent, and being independent was thought through properly by the founders of Misra. Mistra was established in order to make a contribution to long-term strategic thinking within South Africa. Indeed, immediately when we set up, we identified some 60 themes that require research. Mistra is the, the master of bringing different contesting groups and making sure that they participate to bring their inputs so that whatever we put in the society is not only relevant, but it has benefited from the input of diverse groups. The great thing about Mistra is that it is not ideologically laden. I mean, it looks at here is the problem, here is the diagnosis, and here are the possible practical solutions. We have also ensured that the outcome of our research impacts on the practical activities of decision makers. I have had a responsibility for strategy and for the companies that I was involved in and finding the right partner to help you with the thinking process and also the design process of your strategy development has always been for me a big issue. What I like about the Mistra think tank outfit is the fact that they think outside the box. They bring into the conversation voices that you would ordinarily not find within the corporate landscape and that enriches your engagements greatly. We felt that uh, fuel cell technology was an emergent technology around which strategies needed to be developed. When we raised this issue then, many people didn't believe it was a critical one. Now South Africa has got Platinum Valley, it has got a hydrogen mobility corridor that is being developed, and it has got manufacturing companies that are manufacturing fuel cells. So in a sense, that's an example of long-term thinking. Our partnership with Mistra in examining the feasibility of establishing a Platinum Group Metals a commodity exchange in South Africa has been one of the most exciting projects that I have personally worked on. It took over five years. So the fact that Mistra sustained the project in our collaboration was a fantastic achievement. Organizations such as Mistra are actually tackling some of the biggest problems that are confronting the globe, the problems of social cohesion, problems of the economy, whether it is the future of mining, whether it is the fourth industrial revolution. It is really very important that this partnership between Mistra and the University of Johannesburg continue from strength to strength because it is important for our society, it is important for our economy, 
it is important for the development of our people. In government, our primary responsibility is to implement what MISTRA has provided us, is a space where we can take an outside looking in perspective. And, and there you are able to see, you know, where you're doing well and where, where are the gaps. And so personally, I've really enjoyed that relationship. It has empowered not only myself, but uh, the work that I do. Think tanks like Mistra have contributed significantly in this generation and the production of knowledge. Just to illustrate this, they have conducted several studies, such as the ethics of biotechnology and nanotechnology. The second one is the evolution of the national system of innovation, as an example again. And then the third one is the work that they have done around the politics of the mining sector. And therefore, in the body of knowledge that we generate as government in order to know how things work, this has been invaluable. Uh, from Mistra. From 2020 and 2021, NEDLAC contracted Mistra together with the ILO or the International Labour Organization to do some research on NEDLAC being fit for purpose. What kind of leadership would we like to see in NEDLAC to lead NEDLAC for the next 25 years? So they did what they're really good at doing, which is scenario planning. In a sense, it held a mirror up to what NEDLAC is at the moment and what NEDLAC could be and how it could play a more significant role in social compacting in South Africa. In 2019, long before the onset of COVID, we completed a research project on the impact of epidemics on the African continent and the capacity of the continent to deal with epidemics. And indeed, some of the content of that book has become massively relevant to the management of the COVID-19 pandemic. MISRA has really been a part of my growth story as a consultant and as a researcher. I've contributed a chapter to a MISRA publication, uh, Seeking Ethical Foundations for the South African Nation. And I've also contributed a report for MISRA, an updated version of their social compacting report. It's just been an amazing experience to interact with MISRA and to see myself growing as a consultant as well as a researcher in the space and also contributing to answering some of the major questions that we face as a society.